Hello, Calculus students. This video is for 3.3 part 3. So uh, in part 1, we do power rule and the other basic rule. In part 2, we talk about product rules and quotient rule. So in this part, we're going to talk about applications. So once we know how to find derivative very quickly without going through limits, um, we can use it to uh, study a lot of applications. The first is really to find tangent line, right? So this is an example of finding tangent line equation. So the derivative function, uh, let us find slope. If we have the derivative function, we can now actually find the equation of the tangent line. Um, so we have this function f of x is equal to 1 over x minus x squared. So we want to find the equation of the tangent line. So the first is to find slope, right? Find slope of this tangent line. So the slope is f prime of 1. But so I don't have f prime. I don't want to do limits, so let's just do f prime of x because we can use derivative rule, which is d dx of this function. 1 over x, I write it as x to the negative 1 minus x squared. So negative 1, negative 1 x1 one is negative 1 x to the negative 2 because n x to the n minus 1 minus x squared become 2x. Right. So this is my... Um, Derivative function, oh, this is a negative of x negative 2. So you can think of it as negative 1, the top, and then x squared minus 2x. So this is the derivative function. If you plug in 1, it would give you the slope. So I plug in 1 now. Uh, negative 1 over 1 squared is 1, and then minus 2. So the slope is negative 3. The slope of this uh, uh, equation is negative 3. Um, now uh, we need we have the slope so we say slope equal to negative 3. What is the point? We need x and y. So x is equal to 1. What is y? y is plug in right 1 over 1 minus 1. So it's 1 minus 1 is 0. So now I have the point 1 comma 0. Let's do the Poinsot form. The equation of a, uh, the equation of the tangent line would be y minus y one y minus zero equal to m x minus x one x minus one. So that is y equal to negative three x plus three. So this is the equation of the tangent line. It should meet the curve of one over x minus x squared at x equal to one at um, at one point. So that's the first application. Second application is, uh, of course, to study a motion, motion of objects. So this is a car that drive horizontally um, in a, with a position function, s of t, t cubed minus 6 t squared plus 9t. And uh, we want to know when will the car come to a stop? When the car come to a stop, the velocity is zero right and what is velocity so that is f prime is velocity is equal to zero so it's actually find the zeros of this function so let's find a der derivative of it it'll be 3t squared minus 12t plus 9 right 3 3 minus 1 is t 2 times 6 is 12 and a t to the 1 and then 9t become 9 so, so that means I'm going to solve 3t squared minus 12t plus 9 equal to 0. So factor the t, 3 out would be t squared minus 4t plus 3. This one is easy to factor. is equal to 3t minus 1, t minus 3. That means t is equal to 1 and t is equal to 3. So this car is going to stop because of traffic at time 1 and time 3. What is the acceleration when a car stops? And we know that acceleration is what? The derivative of the velocity function is how the velocity change. So we do double prime of t of this f prime, 3t squared. So it will be 6t minus 12. 
So what is the acceleration when the car stop? When the car stop is at t equal to one. So the acceleration s double prime one would be equal to six minus twelve equal to negative six. Uh, is it meter? Okay, meter per squares. So it is. Uh, this, this is the acceleration. And then at t equal to 3, you plug in s double prime of 3. So that would be 6 times 3 minus 12. That's a 6 meter second square. So these are the two acceleration. One is accelerating to the negative side, to the, to the left side. One is on the backward. Uh, one is accelerating forward. Okay, sample two. A hearing swimming along a straight line has traveled that many feet in t second. What is the velocity? So this is s of t is the position. I just want a velocity. That means I just need to do s prime of t. But this s prime of t is a quotient, so I need to do fix and jiv, right? Fix. Uh, no, t is t square, and g is uh, t square plus two. So fig would be 2t, jif, not jif, g prime is also 2t because the 2 is done. So this would equal to derivative of this. Um, we do g square, uh, t square plus 2, square it. And then the top would be fig, 2t times t square plus 2 minus uh, 2t times t square. So this become 2t t square minus 2t square t to the cube plus, so this become 4t only in the top, these two cancel, right? It's exactly the same. And uh, t square plus 2 or square. So this is the velocity at 3 seconds. So you plug in f prime of 3. So that would be 4 times 3 over 3 square is 9. 9 plus 2 square okay, is 11 square. So that is 12 over 11 square is 121. So and it's feet per second. Um, then, then these last one i think it's this is the last one the last application is about a um health related medical related it's about concentration of antibody in a bloodstream and somehow there's a model that models this it's very complicated it's 2t squared plus t over t cubed plus 50. we want to find the rate of the concentration the rate of change of the concentration how much this change because this is some, not something that's easy to understand. So it is a quotient. So f is equal to 2t squared plus t. g is equal to t cubed plus 50. So f prime would equal to 4t plus 1. g prime would equal to just one term, 3t squared. So c prime of t would be g squared. 4t plus 1, oh gosh, this you have to do foil. And then t cubed plus 50, oh, this is long, minus this 2, right? Two, uh, 3t squared times 2t squared plus t. So the rest is just simplify. Okay, so. Um, Okay, so after we simplify, oh, I should not write g squared. I should really write t cubed plus 50 squared. So it turns out that the top become, become like this. Um, negative 2, t to the 4, plus t cubed minus 100t, minus 25. Okay, I check it with rule from alpha also with something that check answer of derivative. So this is very tedious. So it's very easily make mistake. But you uh, you simplify it properly, you get that. Now, if they want C prime of T of A, C prime of 
t of 12, c prime of 24, that means you have to plug in uh, t equal to 8 here and then do a whole bunch of calculation. Um, maybe by hand is a little difficult. So I um, did it in uh, here, decimal, put it, put the function, oh, it should be a negative 2. The function is negative 2, t to the 4, plus 2 t cubed minus 100 t minus 25, and it's t cubed minus t squared, like this. And then I do the table. Um, where's the table? <laughs> okay. Oh, my gosh. No, okay, the table is this. Uh, because I have a typo here, it should be f of t instead of f of x. So once I fix it, then the table comes up. And I just use this to figure out the 8, 12, 24, 36. So uh, 8, <laughs> 12, 24, 36. So uh, this is negative 0 0.0024. Let me write down. Negative point zero two four, negative point zero one three, negative point zero zero um, three five. That means four. So negative point zero zero two. They are all like three or four places behind decimal point. So, but they are all negative, right? So put it in. Negative zero point zero two four, negative zero point zero one three, negative zero point zero zero four, but the negative is less than less, right? It's decreasing, but it's de decreasing less and less. Describe what's occurring as the hour increase. You would say the the concentration. You can see that the concentration is decreasing because your rate of change is decreasing. Your, your rate of change is negative. So that means there are less and less concentration. But the rate of change is also is increasing. The rate of decrease is increasing or well, is um, decreasing. That means it doesn't decrease as much. So it was decreased from 0 to 4, like 2% 2 per liter of blood. And then uh, at time of 26, the decrease is decreased. They're still decreasing, but decrease slow down. So the decreasing is slowing down.